Hey, what's going on, man? Hola, amigo. Como estas? Guten tag, wie geht's dir? Welcome to Bagration. Previously, we've done the bunch of southern scenarios. Then we went up and did Leningrad. Then we came back down to the south and did to the Dniester. And now we're finally in the center of Russia with Bagration. We have to get a brilliant victory here to unlock. Oh, that's decisive victory required. <sighs> so I've been replaying this one over and over and over again to get a brilliant victory for no reason. So anyway, destroy Army Group Center and advance to the former Polish and Lithuanian borders to create suitable conditions for follow-up operations. Victory in 8, decisive in 7. June 22, 1944, three years after Barbarossa, the Soviets plan to recapture the Belarusian russian SSR and push the Germans back into Poland. We got three air attacks per turn, one logistics per turn, two bridges overall, one per turn to maximum, and two partisans per turn. There's four objectives we have to take. Orsha, we gotta take that on too. The only strongly held area between Minsk and Smolensk. Minsk is on four, capital of the Belarusian SSR, capturing it should cut the supply of the German forces to the east. And then Vilnius, Vilnius and Baranovici are both on six. Baranovici reads, formerly Polish city that can serve as a supply depot for operations to the west. Vilnius says, capital of Lithuania and Lithuanian SSR. Here's the supply situation. Germans have three of them, all of them on roads. We also have three on roads as well. We also have two more off in space. It is June, so there's nice weather and terrain. There's rivers all over the place. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attack this guy right here, blast him out of his being and get him the heck out of Dodge. Like so. And where can you go? Okay. So let's uh, attack him. Let's have you attack him as well. Can we get one more guy in there? No, it doesn't look like it. The other thing is we need to get this guy on out of here too. Uh, he's just going to get... I don't want to lose him like that. So you come back. Let's work on this guy. Get out of the way. Take a regular infantry unit, regular tank, bring the tank through. Then we'll bring you on through. Have you come down and destroy him. And... I don't know. And yeah, we'll come one more forward with you. We gotta get this guy out of here though, because that's where my my supply source has come through that. He's sitting right on top of that supply, the supply route. Now as far as this goes, let's see if we can't Oh, I can't get him out of there. Let's work on this guy. Let's take... Bring you back. We'll bring you through. Bring you through. You across. Yeah, you across. You can't get any further in there. Breach him. Make our way through. You stay out of there. Okay. Now down here, in order to get Minsk and really these other three, it really depends on what happens in this area. You really have to push this really fast to try to break through. That's strange. I do a better attack going across the river. Why do I not have... 
Why is my artillery not caught right there? But it counts right here. That doesn't make sense to me. Do that and breach them. Let's see if we can't. Let's get this guy out of here. We gotta get him out of there. Move up just like so. Hopefully we can attack this guy and get him blown out of there. Whoops, did not want to do that. Sometimes I misclick. Actually quite often I misclick. Let's put the supplies down here. Almost forgot to move these guys. Worthwhile to attack any of those guys. And just reset with them. And this guy is also a tough nut to crack, but we have to get this open so that these guys can get moving as quickly as possible. Maybe what we should do is take them back, bring them back down here, clean these guys out, and then move up. Yeah, that looks good. Looks good. Good, they always, they always bring this unit up. How does he get all the way around here? How does he get all the way around? I mean, this guy should have zone of control for this one and this one. And nothing else. And he should have zone of control of that. All that. And we still... They still have a ton of dudes in, this, in that area. Gosh. City in ruins. Need you to get me in there. I'm trying to weaken these guys up as much as possible so they can't attack him and kill him. He can attack across. Yeah. Figured that was going to be a bad idea. Yeah. 
It's gotta happen, though. I gotta take that. He should be able to hold out. He should be able to anyway. We're just going to pound the living daylights out of that guy. Oh, shoot. Wanted to wait to see... I'll find my supplies would go up first. Come on, how do you get suppressed like that? Start going around them. Try to block those guys in. Lock him in. You come up. So we have forces we can drop down now. Can't give you any. You can take some armor. So infantry, 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 infantry. Where do we need to drop down some infantry? This guy was good, but he, I ended up losing a whole bunch with him. You take some so we can blast him out of there. You take some so we can blast this guy on out. That's it. Wait, last thing I wanted to check. Okay. So you can go one more space and still be in supply. So the next turn I could take him and start moving back here. Cutting off Minsk supply on three. I gotta get the Minsk on four. So it's really important that I blast this guy out on this next turn. Get my supplies through and get up here. Kill that idiot. Good.
Oh, you. We need him dead. Get on up there. Swipe all that land. Actually, you back up. You come further, you come further. You sit there. With an overrun. Block all those jerks in. And it looks pretty decent. He's auto supply right there, so add one. Get him back in supply. Put a bridge uh bridge on the wrong spot. Oh that figures. What are we gonna do with this guy? Put two down. Hmm. Have to watch for him. sit there. We can get this guy out of there. We're supposed to take Minsk on four. We've got two guys that can really attack it. But he's gonna come up and block, isn't he? Yep. But he should be able to come up right there. Give him enough space to get around. You come up right there. Good job. Get him out of dodge. Come on. What kind of BS is that? You're gonna die, dude. There's just no doubt about it. It's just going to happen. There. We gotta move fast. Let's see, let's put down another 
bridge right there. So that on the next turn, we can just say, screw this guy and go right around. I don't know. Drop it down here, I suppose. There we go. Cut if his, he'll have his supplies cut off for two turns, so he'll still be weakened up a little bit. This is going to be the tough guy, though. So now we have to get rid of both of these units. This guy around. He's got to stay there. The rest of these guys are worthless. Just try to cut as much of that guy's zone of control as possible so he cannot move. That way I can keep Minsk open. Let my tanks move up. I'm afraid I put too many go guys going north and not enough coming to this one in the south. Turn six. He's not weakened down at all. Still must be coming around like that or something. Okay, so that works. Come on, buddy. Yay! Brilliant Soviet victory. I don't know how I got it. I was actually very lucky that these guys just pushed out after one little hit like that, but... Hey! A win's a win, man. Brilliant Soviet victory is a brilliant Soviet victory. Look forward to seeing you next one. Please like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Take care. Bye.